guys. <laughs> so for this tutorial, first we're going to start off with the lightest foundation you can find, no matter what it is. We just want to look as pale as possible and have that for our base. So I am just taking this really light foundation and putting that everywhere, including my neck. If your skin is showing, like on your neck or decollete area, be sure to cover that as well. And if you have a thicker formula, like if you're using uh, face paint or something, you might want to spray your brush with something like Fix Plus or something because that can really help blend the foundation out because it was a little hard for me to do because it was so, so thick. So just go ahead and layer that on and then set it with some powder because, you know, we don't want to be an oily zombie, I guess. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take this burgundy color and messily run that in my crease. You really, really do not need to be neat with this at all, and I am taking this in my inner corner as well, because normally we'd want to brighten that, but we're not trying to be glam, we're trying to be dead here. So, yeah, we're going to try to look as tired and as rotten as possible, so just have fun with this, be messy, do whatever your creative juices tell you to do. And then I am taking a lighter red, and I am running that in my crease as well. This look is all about layering. I know this red might seem a little bright, but it really helps to add depth and dimension with the light colors and the dark burgundy. And we're going to add gray and some black on top and just the layers really, really help pull everything together. So go ahead and take your time with it. And then, like I said, the gray, I'm going to take that on a more precise brush and concentrate that more in my crease to really hollow out the eyes. We want to look sunken in and decaying, you know, you know. So yeah, I am just placing that in my crease and also in the inner corner as well. And then I'm going to take that gray and run it down my eyes where my eye bags are. I'm not going to say where they would be because I do have eye bags. But we want to really accentuate them and bring them out. And I know it looks kind of harsh, but I blended it out, don't worry. So, like I said, add layers, blend, add layers, blend. It just, it might seem time consuming, but when you're in the moment, it really isn't. It's just, it's actually really fun. <laughs> and then I'm taking that red color and I am putting that all on the underside of my eye because this is just going to make us look even more sick and dead and gross. So yeah, and then I'm taking it on my eyelid as well just to, you know, look even more dead. <laughs> and then I am going back in with that gray and adding more shadows on top of that red, like I said. And I'm going to sound like a broken record, but layer, layer, layer. It's easier to layer than add way too much and not be able to take it off and everything just look kind of weird. So, I mean, we're going for the weird look anyway, but you know what I mean. You get the gist. So yeah, and then I'm also taking that gray on top of the eyelid as well. Just f kind of find wherever you need to add color or add depth or whatever. Just have fun with it, you guys. Really, this is like, there's no rules when it comes to this. So yeah, now I'm taking that gray down the bridge of my, not the bridge of my nose, down the sides of my nose to kind of add a contour, if you will, a zombie contour. <laughs> we just want to look really dead and gross and nasty. So yeah, I am messily taking that on the sides of my nose and bringing it all the way up near my eyes. And then I am going to take, well, I don't know if I'm going to take it yet. First, blend it out. Blend it out so we don't have like weird harsh lines that just don't look like they belong. And then I am also taking that on the bottom of my nose. And then here we are. I'm now taking that red color and really concentrating it on the like very, very outer parts of my nose to look really bruised and just like I am messed up. I am tore up. And don't forget to put it by the nostrils too because that's where, that's what really makes people think, oh, you look sick. You know what I mean? So yeah, just go have fun and keep blending and layering and blending. And then I'm taking that gray again. And I am taking this on a contour brush and we're really going to hollow out our cheeks, guys. We want to look really, really sunken in. So, and if you find that you did it a little too harshly like I did here, just go back in with your foundation brush and blend it out. That's what I did after the fact. I'm not sure if I showed it though. But yeah, just like I said, that's also layering and blending. And don't forget um, your jawline as well, you guys, because that's going to really help everything stand out when you have more of a structured jawline. 
it, you're just gonna look sunken, sunken like the Titanic. Know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Next, I am also taking that gray. See, and that gray is from Morphe, and it's two dollars. So, I mean, use what you have, guys. I'm using that to hollow out under my lip and around my forehead and my temples. This is gonna help us look even more dead. And then I am adding more of that red to places that I feel just need it so that I can look more bruised and gross you know see look it just adds even more awesomeness and then I am taking my brow gel and instead of just combing through your brows like you normally would I am messing them up I am making them go all kinds of ways and this is I mean we're a zombie or dead or whatever you're using this look for you don't want to look neat and polished. You want to look like you're tore up from the floor up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Just go a little crazy with that brow gel. It just, it really helps. And then I'm just adding more colors to wherever I feel like is too white on my face. Because I, I want to go all out here. I want to look very messed up and bruised. So I am just adding that everywhere. Just be free with it, you guys. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, but... I can't stress it enough. Just have fun with it because that's what makes it so exciting. And then I am taking that red again and I am putting it around my lips so that they look just like, you know, maybe I got socked in the mouth. I don't know. <laughs> Someone from The Walking Dead was trying to fight me off and they hit me in the mouth and I bruised even though I'm already dead so I wouldn't be. I don't know. But yes, just take that around your lips and see how we look just and nasty and then I am blinking out my lips even more with that foundation that I originally used and then I'm putting gray on top as my first layer and that's just gonna help us look even more sickly and then I'm taking that red again and putting that right on top of the gray and then the dark burgundy and then I know I didn't show it but I'm also adding black on top because that just it really pulled everything together and really made it and you look nasty so <laughs> yeah just keep going guys have fun do whatever you feel if you don't want it if you maybe you want to do a pretty lip with this I don't know so just whatever your little heart desires guys whatever your heart desires Yee! and that literally you guys is the finished look I'm just adding more eyeshadow everywhere but you see how easy that was no mascara nothing needed unless you want it and look how happy I am because I'm like, yes, this is so my cup of tea. But yeah, so this is what the makeup looks like without all the special effects that were on in the beginning. You can see how it looks really cool. And then I also added black eyeshadow onto my teeth to give them that rotten look. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. It was super simple and easy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.